Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is how to make a really plain solid back bralette. Um, it was a really fun and very easy tutorial to do, so I hope you guys like it. So first, this is the yarn that I'm using. It is a weight four acrylic yarn. I would honestly recommend to use probably a weight three because my bralette was a little bit on the thick side but any yarn you want to use will work for this project. So I am taking a five millimeter hook for this project and to get started, I'm just creating my knot and I'm going to chain a total of 20. This is going to be the length of your top. If you want it to be shorter, feel free to make less chains. If you want it to be a long top, you can make it as long as you need it to be. I'm doing 20. And then once I have my 20 chains, I'm blocking off the end with my thumb and chaining an additional three. Then I'm going to prepare for a double crochet and place my hook through the chain that I blocked off. And I'm going to place my first double crochet there. So then I'm just going to go right back through every chain in the row and place a double crochet. This entire section will be just rows of basic double crochets. So this is a really easy and less technical crochet project. It's perfect for beginners. So I am just going to go ahead and finish the row. Once I have completed my first row of double crochets, all I'm going to do to get started on the next row and all of the next rows after this is chain three, flip over your work, and then place your first double crochet in the first chain. Just for your reference, that very first chain that looks like it is the first chain of the row is attached to the chain three. So you skip that and you go to the next one and that is your first chain of the row. So then do this for however many rows you need to do. Keep crocheting rows until it is long enough to wrap around your rib cage or midsection. So once you are finished with all of your rows, you should have a piece large enough to fit completely around your rib cage and midsection. Um, I did 41 rows. This is probably a extra small to a small, but of course I always recommend to just measure against yourself to get the best size. So once you have that, I am just going to fold the piece together. So now I'm just going to be placing slip stitches along the front of the row. And it is kind of hard to find the stitches because you are crocheting in a different direction. But just do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be flipped to the inside so no one will see it if it looks wonky. So once you have your row connected together, I just flipped it inside out so that the row that you stitched is on the inside. And then I just chain three, and then I'm going to be going along the top of the row and I'm going to be placing double crochets. So for this row, I mean, it is kind of hard to see because you are crocheting in a different direction, but for the most part, you are just going to be placing one double crochet in each space because you do want this to be a little bit tighter so it can stretch. Um, this is going to be right below your bust, so you do want it to kind of have a little bit more of a hold to it. So you see these double crochets that are going along on the opposite side of the row. I'm just going to be placing one double crochet through each of these. So then I'm gonna go into the center stitch of the row, this little chain there. I'm going to place my next double crochet. Then I'm gonna jump over to the where the double crochet in this row is, place one, prepare for a double crochet and then go back in through the little space in between the two double crochets of the row. So I hope that makes sense, but you are just placing one double crochet in each double crochet space and then the space in between 
double crochet space, space in between. So just go ahead and finish the row and I'll be back once I've finished. So I did a row of double crochets and now I am at the very last stitch. I'm just going to put it through the very first double crochet and place a slip stitch to connect the row. Now I'm going to be chaining three and then doing that process one more time. So I'm gonna be doing one more row of double crochets all the way around your top. So once you're finished with your second row, I am just going to connect it again to the top stitch. I'm just gonna go through this one. Actually, I'll go through two. So I'm just gonna go through the middle of the stitch and connect with a slip stitch. And then that is it for the body portion. I'm just going to cut my string and then tie it off with a knot. I will go back in and thread this in through strings on the inside and then tie it off so that it doesn't unravel. But so this is going to be the back side of your top. So I'm just gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna do my best to try and make it as even as possible. So I'm gonna fold it in half and now we're gonna get started on the cut portions of the top. So for this, it's just going to, so we're just going to start the thread in one of the corners. You're gonna to have to cut and tie for each cup so it doesn't matter what side you start with. But I'm just going to um, attach my thread and then we're gonna be going um, probably halfway along the front half of your top. So now we're only going to be crocheting on one side. And so I'm just counting from the very middle of my top. So I just decided that this would be the middle piece because it exactly matches the seam on the back. So here's gonna be my middle piece. I'm just gonna count from there so I have an even number of rows to do. And I'm going to start on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. So I'm going to start on the tenth row away from the middle, and then of course do ten rows away from the middle when you do the other side as well. So I'm just going to follow this up to the very corner stitch of the tenth row. I'm going to just attach my thread in that very corner stitch that you picked out. And I'm going to tie it with a double knot. So now I'm going to get started on my first cup. So just chain through. Then we're going to be doing double crochets for the cup as well. I'm just going to chain three. and then do double crochets. So if it helps, I'm just going to count to the 10th row and then stop there. But if you wanna place like a little marker or um, a little pin where you need to stop just so you don't accidentally go past the middle, we do wanna leave a few stitches of space in between the two cups. So I'm probably going to stop on the second stitch from the middle so I'll probably stop so this is where the stitch would end I'm gonna probably stop right there but of course always measure it against yourself if you need your cups to be a little bit bigger a little bit smaller um, go ahead and just do whatever works for you this is just what I'm doing so I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video here place my row of double crochets and then once I finish I will come back Okay, so I did my first row into the cup and I did stop two chains away from the middle, um, the very middle of the top. So now I'm just going to chain three. And this is where we're going to start skipping rows so that it starts to triangle into a cup. So I'm going to be skipping the very first chain and the very last chain of every row. So this is the chain that's attached to my chain three, so that is not the first chain. 
this is the very first chain of the row. I'm just going to skip that and go straight into the second chain. So you should have a small space inside of your cup. And then I'm just going to go back along the row and place a double crochet in every chain. So now I am at the second to last chain and so we're going to be skipping this chain. So you're going to be skipping the very first chain and skipping over the very last chain in every row. So I'm just going to prepare for my double crochet. You can either go straight through the entire chain or if you want to pull it apart and find the top of the double crochet chain. Either way, it does create kind of a different look, but I'm just gonna go through the middle of the chain and then that will be it for the row. And you're just going to be repeating that pattern of skipping the first and last chain of every row until you reach the top. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a few more rows until it gets a little bit smaller and then I'll show you what to do for the strap. So. To start your row, don't forget to chain three. Prepare for your double crochet. This is part of the chain three. This is the first chain, and then this is the second chain. So I'm going to be going right into the second chain. So yeah, just continue this pattern. And then I'm going to pause and come back once I've almost completed the cup. Once you get to the top of the cup, so as you can see, there's three, two, the two sides and I'm going to stop here. Um, now I'm going to be working into my strap and it's getting kind of hard to show this on camera. So I'm just going to chain three, prepare for a double crochet and then go right into the very last chain. I'm going to skip over these two, kind of pull it apart and then place my double crochet there. So now I'm going to have like a small space and then I am going to chain three. And it really depends on how thick you want your strap to be. I am going to make my strap a little bit on the thick side. I'm going to be placing my next double crochet right into the same chain that my chain three is coming out of. Prepare for a double crochet. I'm going to be doing one more chain, placing in the very top of the double crochet that is beneath it. So my strap is going to be three double crochets width across. There is going to be a little space in between where my cup ends and where my chain strap begins. Um, if you want to, you can just, if you want it all solid, you can just place two double crochets in these two chains. Um, I think I like the look of this better. It kind of adds more detail to the top, but whatever you want to do is fine. So now I'm just going to go along and then place three double crochets in each row of the strap. And then... The best way to find the length is to measure it along your shoulder and I am going to be pausing here and I will come back once I finish the length of my strap. So once you're finished, I ended up doing 17 rows but always, always, always measure it against yourself and I did try on my top and figure out where is the best place to attach the strap. For me, that's going to be three rows from the center um, but if you want to like try it on with your bra strap and see where to cover it uh, I would recommend doing that. So I'm just going to make sure my strap is straight and I'm going to be attaching it to my back of the top with some slip stitches. So I'm just going to be flipping it so that it's laying flat against where I want to attach it. And then I'm just going to be going through the very first chain and aligning it with a chain along the back side of my top. And my string is all crazy. So 
So then just attach with a slip stitch and do that for the next two chain. So once you have that, I'm just going to go through the very next chain and attach with another slip stitch just so it gives it more structure. So then I'm just going to cut my string, thread it through and pull the knot. You are almost done with your top. I am just going to repeat the same exact process. So going from the middle chain, I am going to count out 10 because that's how large I made this cup. Um, if you want to make it larger, feel free. You could even <clears throat> chain it a little bit into the side so that it has way more coverage. Um, I don't need that much coverage, so that's what I'm doing. But so just repeat that same process to the second side and I am just going to skip through it since I already showed it. So don't forget that once you reach the center, um, this is my center stitch. I have two that are not stitched into and then the second set on both sides is where my bikini is coming out of. So just make sure that you do leave um, two to three chains in the middle for separations between your cups. Okay, so now I'm done with the second cup and strap, and I'm just going to attach it to the back. Once you're done with that, just cut off the excess yarn. And that is it. This was the entire tutorial. This was probably one of the easiest tops I've ever made, just in terms of um, like technique. You really don't need that much skill to make a top like this, but it's a really fun project to do. If you have any other suggestions of tutorials that you want me to do, please leave a comment because I do read all of them and I try my best to respond to everyone. And I also just want to say thank you to everyone who's been leaving really nice comments. It really means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, so I did get a lot of requests to do um, a crochet cardigan. So I am working on patterns for that. So expect that in the near future. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.